Peggy 16. Welcome back. As you can see, this is Ghost Recon Future Soldier. In our last video, we gave you a bunch of information about the game. Now we want to kind of do something a little different. So I have my friend Justin Dress with me, who is an associate producer out of our Red Storm office. And we kind of want to go through just a little bit of what, it, what it's like to be a demoist. Now, Justin and I go way back. Way back. I think back to five years ago. So yeah, at least five years now, yeah. I think. So you know he's going to give you the good stuff. <laughs> otherwise, he'll get it. All the Kimmy right? stories, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, a good story is, I think, was it Old Town in the first Graw? It was, the first Graw 1, mm -hmm. the Old Town map. He put my dog Josh in that map. That's right. We needed some dog sounds, and Kimmy's Chihuahua was perfect. <laughs> and it was recorded on your cellular phone, I believe. Something like that. And so it sounded perfect because we needed to have it distant and not sound yes. so clear. And it's Mexico, exactly. so Chihuahua, Mexico, perfect. And the perfect quality. So yes. yeah, so Kimmy's dog is definitely in <laughs> Ghost Recon Advanced But let's get back to one. business, because you know I can talk about Josh all day. That's true. But I don't think you want to hear that. So Ghost Recon. Let's talk first about your preparation that went into being a demoist. Did you have to practice all that? Definitely, a lot of practice. And we received a lot of builds. So as the as the demo progressed, we would get builds, and so we had to take a lot of time to play those builds and make sure that uh, we understood the game and all the new gameplay mechanics that are in there. Um, we've been working with it, so we kind of knew most of it going on. But um, it was a lot of fun. It was one of those moments where we could actually, you know, stop some of the other work we were doing and say, okay, well, we have to practice this demo and play this over and over again. So. It was one of those times where we got to play games at work. Yes, <laughs> one of the few times. Exactly. Yes. Um, yeah, I can attest that he and uh, Stu and Julian were just sitting there playing. Yep. So. A lot of practice. Who's the best? Well, me, of course. Oh, of course. Stu and Julian are pretty yeah. good, but I mean, All right, come we'll on, see about the, that. You know. Okay, so you practiced, and now it's Wednesday. You've been giving the demos a lot. What would you say is a good demo? Well. We, we want the fans to see everything that we have to offer. So the big thing becomes less talk almost and more show. So we want them to see, you know, this is everything that's in there. So we'll give bullet points along the way and just point out new features like the optical camouflage that we have, um, the weapons that are in there now that we can change and the fully customizable. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. And um, I think a good demo is just to let the game speak for itself. I mean, it looks great, it plays great, it's fun. So we can show them that and they can see, okay, you know, Ubisoft is really mm -hmm. putting out a good product here and people are really excited about it. 30 plus weapons. 30 right? plus weapons, including that's right. Including this sweet little. Including, that's baby. right, including this, the, uh, the MRB. Um, it's a modular rifle, it's a bullpup style. It's fully customizable. Um, you can put different optics on it, you can put uh, different suppressors on it. It's got a shotgun mount, it's got a fancy little bottle opener here at the front. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's used for door breaches. But um, it's a great weapon. These prototypes are super awesome. I can't believe you have them here today. I know. Well, even though Justin and I are good friends, I had to bribe him with <laughs> the actual prop from the live action trailer. He was trailer. like, I'll let you play with it if you actually bring it. But, um, <laughs> I'll let you hold it. Yeah, this was actually used in the live action mm -hmm. trailer, so very, very cool. So back to the demos. Um, I heard yesterday that Vern Troyer, Vern Troyer famously known as Minimi, came by, and That's the right. first game he wanted to see was Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Um, do you have any other stories? Well, oh, wait. I know, I'm so jealous. The other comm dev, Amarek, he got to actually interview him. I got a picture with him, but I didn't really get to talk to him. Well, I actually got to give him the demo, and um, oh, oh, it was oh. awesome. And uh, he, he really enjoyed it, and such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And it was really cool, you could tell that uh, he loves Ghost Recon, loves the franchise, and it definitely was apparent that it was the first one that he wanted to see. Mm -hmm. And like he's a true gamer. Exactly, so we went through the demo, he had some great questions, but I think most of all, um, he's just really excited to see it hit the streets and get out there and be able to play it. So I told him that I'd see him online. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> but uh, he really liked it. Very nice guy. Mm -hmm. Any other stories from the? Um, Michael Jackson's children came through, so that Did was neat. Did you demo to them? Um, I demoed it not to them, but someone in their entourage. But uh -huh. they had a, a big group that came through, and um, they seemed to really, really like it as well. So it was neat to see yeah. them. And, Special. Uh, I mean, I didn't even get led into there. Exactly. I know. So it's. Uh, 
it, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, we've done hundreds and hundreds of demos so far, and this is mm -hmm. only halfway through day two. So yeah. all the times we talk to these guys and we interview them and we try to get to know exactly how everything works, we've really put that in the game, and it's so cool to see how that all works out. So that's when one of my favorite things is to see people's excitement when mm -hmm. they do that. There's also some fantastic takedowns and melee encounters that you can do. So I think my people uh, part, see those. Yeah, my favorite part, and I'm not alone in this, was when you're shooting the guy from underneath and the blood drips down. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part, though, <laughs> is when you have to take out the enemy who's in front of the 50 caliber chain gun, oh, and you have to right. hold him up. I can't tell you how many people I saw go. <laughs> Oh, that's nice, because that that's like the exactly. visceral reaction yep. that you want. Because you know they're like, I want to see more, I want to do this, <laughs> I want to see more. So, right. very cool. Okay. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a fantastic demo. The team did a great job putting it together. It's been fun to play, it's easy to play. You ruined my last question, which was the easy lob. And that question was, what would you use the hook for? Oh, so yeah. you said bottle opener, now you have to come up with another answer. I don't know. Bottle opener. Um, I mean, you really use it for door breaching. Maybe going around the office and... It's like a, you could hang it on the wall with it, I guess. So when you come home, you can just hang it up. You know, and go <laughs> like right on there. a coat rack. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> on a coat rack. It's kind of like in I Am Legend where he goes down the stairs and out of his uh, umbrella holder, he just pulls out an M4. So you yeah. can just put MRBs <laughs> all over your house just in case. Decoration. You never know. Right, yeah. right. All right, well... Thanks, Justin, You're for welcome. taking the time out. And maybe I'll see you on the floor and I can give you one of yes. these demos. And now it's your turn to go back to work. That's right. Yep. Thank you. Back to work. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. If you want more information about Ghost Recon Future Soldier, head to ghostrecon.com.